In this video, we're going to look at how to choose a good quality supplement. These days, it seems like you can buy supplements everywhere from your local grocery store to Amazon, to Instagram, to professional medical offices. But how do you know that what you're buying is good quality? If you have ever wondered about this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can keep on learning. I'm Dr. Nishi Bhopal. I'm a physician board certified in integrative psychiatry and sleep medicine. And this channel is all about holistic strategies to optimize your sleep and your mental health. Every video also contains a tip for healthcare providers that you can use in your clinical practice. Before we jump into the video, I'd like to invite you to grab my free holistic sleep guide. The guide is available on my website at intrabalance.com forward slash sleep guide, and the link is also available in the video description. This is the first video in a four-part series on supplements, so stay tuned for the videos to come. So what do I mean when I talk about supplements? Dietary supplements are meant to supplement the diet. They are not a substitute for a good quality diet. And supplements include things like vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes, and botanicals. These types of supplements are not regulated by the FDA. They're not regulated for quality or for contaminants or for the ingredients. Therefore, it's really important that you know what you're buying. There was a 2013 study that looked at a variety of dietary supplements, including things like echinacea, ginkgo biloba, St. John's wort, and it was found that 59% of these botanical supplements contained plants that were not listed on the label. 83% of the companies tested actually substituted the active ingredients with something else. Another study, also in 2013, looked at vitamin D3 supplements that you can buy at your local grocery store. And it was found that there was great variation from one supplement to the next. And in fact, the concentrations varied from 9% to 146% of the stated amount. That is pretty concerning because if you think you're buying a vitamin D supplement in a certain concentration and certain dose, there is so much variability. So you don't actually know what you're getting and how much you're getting. And this problem was getting so bad that in 2015, the Attorney General of the state of New York sent cease and desist letters to four of the largest retailers, including Walmart, Walgreens, GNC, and Target. This letter demanded that they stop selling supplements that were falsely labeled, including things like echinacea, ginseng, ginkgo biloba, and St. John's wort. Again, not all supplements are created equally. You don't always know what you're getting. This is why it's so important to know that what you're buying is of good quality and that the ingredients that are listed on the label are actually what's in the supplement itself. Now, a quick disclaimer here, whether or not you should be taking supplements is a whole other topic for a separate video. Always consult with your healthcare practitioner to determine if you should be taking supplements and what kinds you should be taking. Remembering that just because something is over the counter, it doesn't mean that it's safe. Do you take any supplements? If so, let me know in the comments. The FDA, or the Food and Drug Administration in the United States, does require that supplement manufacturers adhere to current good manufacturing practices. But the problem is that compliance is not always enforced. So as we just looked at, what it says on the label might not actually be what's in the bottle. The best way to ensure the quality of a product is to make sure that it has been certified by a third party company. These companies actually test supplements to make sure that they are safe and that they actually contain the ingredients listed on the label. Now, this third party testing is not actually required by law, but there are some supplement manufacturers that voluntarily undergo this process of testing by these third party companies to show that their products are good quality and safe and to also show their commitment to producing high quality products for their consumers. And there are four third party testing companies that you can look for. You can look for their seal on the label of your supplement. You'll want to look for brands with either the NSF International, the National Sanitation Foundation seal, U.S. Pharmacopeia seal, the Consumer Lab seal, or the Underwriters Laboratory seal. So when you see that on the label, you'll know that your supplement has undergone testing for at least one of the following. 
that the supplement actually contains what is listed on the label and in the listed amounts, that each batch is standardized so that one batch of, let's say, ginkgo biloba has the same ingredients as the next batch that is manufactured, that the supplement is free of hazardous materials or contaminants, and that the product doesn't contain any undeclared ingredients. And if you are an athlete, you'll want to look for a supplement that has the NSF certified for sport certification, because then you'll know that it doesn't contain any of the substances, the 270 substances that have been banned for use in sports. And here's my tip for healthcare practitioners. You can use an online dispensary like Fullscript or Wellevate, and these are online dispensaries that provide good quality supplements that have been certified and tested and also stored appropriately in their warehouses so that you can make recommendations to your patients comfortably knowing that they are taking something that is safe, that is recommended for their needs, that you've evaluated them for, and that you can also make sure they're taking something that's not going to interact with their other medications or other supplements they may be taking. I personally use full script in my practice. That way I know that what I'm recommending to my patients is of good quality and that I am also prescribing it to them as part of their treatment plan. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and click the like button so that I know I'm on the right track with making content that you will find helpful. And also stay tuned for the next video in this four-part series on dietary supplements.